Mm. Get your piece of glass here. That little strip of foil. If it's oxidized, you can just take your shirt, run it over that real good, just real tight, and remove some of that. Um, it also kind of helps straighten it out a little bit. So you're gonna start. many different ways to foil you're just gonna have to find out what works best for you um, really it's gonna come down to making sure that it's even on both sides um, and it does um, take a little bit of practice now I may not get this perfectly because I'm, I'm trying to keep my big head out of the way of the camera and I am also doing this fairly quickly So yeah, didn't get that too great, but for our purposes today of normally I'll have my big old reading glasses on and get a little closer to it to to see what I'm doing. So there you go. Um, I only overlap the end just by a little bit. Tear it off pretty easy. And a good indication of if you've somewhat even, you're, where you overlap, if it's it's even, there's no, um, sticks up a little bit. So uh, if it does a little bit, um, which is not quite perfect, you can actually grab a... Uh, a razor blade and cut that off so I don't know if you can see this let's see if you can and just after you lay it down there you can see see all those little shiny ridges right there that means your foil is not burnished or it's not adhered to the glass very well those are little air pockets right in there um, you see right there on the corner as well. Um, that needs to be burnished down. And on the, depending on the curves of the pieces, see how there's little folds there on the curves right there on the end. So you can get rid of that. You want to get rid of that. Um, but for the most part, this one's pretty good. So let's show you how we do the sides and then burnish the actual um, glass and you can see the, you'll be able to see the difference Okay, so let's look at the edges first. Let me see if I can get this close enough for everybody to see. You can see right there. So you don't want to... Didn't go all the way, but got a little bit better. See right there, there's a little fold right there. Now some of that will be probably the texture of the cut from the glass. You don't have to spend a lot of time on this, just apply some decent pressure to it. Let's see if we can show you the the fold. There's that one. Like I said, this one was pretty good already. So, I 
know a lot of people who didn't know they had to burnish it just left their glass like that. Um, yeah, it's not really a great idea. So if you take your wheel, just run it over there a few times. Don't press too hard because you can break your glass. But look how immediately the difference that makes. Burnished, not burnished. Burnished. And sometimes you'll even notice that it spreads out a little bit. So if you thought it was a little too thin and you didn't quite get it right, after you burnish, it looks like it should now. Let's do that uh, one last side there. So we'll show that curve again. That's where you'll see most of them. And voila, it is gone. So if you're having a problem with foil lifting or it's just not adhering at all and peeling it off, it's because you're just laying it down finger and calling it with your fingers, just calling it good. And it needs a little more help adhering to the glass. Um, I've never had an issue with lifting um, or foil coming away from a piece of glass and this is the technique that I use. Um, after I um, get everything ready and say I've worked on a project for so long your foil oxidizes. I use a vinegar solution um, um, that I, uh, I actually dip all my pieces into. I submerge these um, people think I'm crazy, but I actually submerge these, uh, swish it around, and it removes all the oxidation from the foil. Just dry it, set it aside, dry it off. Uh, of course, you rinse it with water first, then dry it off. I have never had that um, trick cause any loss of adhesion with the foil or any problem with the foil or, or soldering. So, I um, hope that was somewhat helpful. Thanks.